Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Kelly, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious turkey wings smothered in brown gravy, rice, green peas, and potato salad. This recipe serves about four people and is absolutely delicious. Now, I do have other recipes that's similar to this one that you can try. I have a recipe for smothered chicken, smothered pork chops, smothered turkey necks, smothered okra, smothered potatoes, yeah. And I'll have the links to those recipe videos in the description box. So without further ado, let's get started. Here is all what you will need to make your turkey wings smothered in brown gravy, rice, green peas, and potato salad. Let's get started with our ingredients. You will need two pounds of turkey wings, and along with that, you will need some all-purpose flour, sugar, canola oil, salted butter, 8 ounces of organic frozen green peas. You're going to need any type of long grain rice. I'm going to be using jasmine rice for this recipe. You will also need some mayonnaise, mustard, sweet relish, 3 large eggs, and 1 russet potato. And for your seasonings, you will need one yellow onion, celery, bell pepper, garlic. You will also need some sea salt, Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use the Zatarain's Creole seasoning or the Slapping Mama Cajun seasoning. You will also need some Chef Paul Pernod's Poetry Magic, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, and some dry thyme. And there we have it. Let's get straight to it. Chop one yellow onion. Rinse off your celery before you chop it. Chop four stalks of celery. Rinse off your bell pepper before you chop it. Make sure you remove the core out of the center of your bell pepper before you chop it. Chop one green bell pepper. Here I have four cloves of garlic. Chop the garlic up until it is minced. Rinse one russet potato. Here I have a potato peeler. Peel one russet potato. Chop the russet potato into small cubes. Here I have one quart of water in a small bowl. Add one teaspoon of vinegar. Give that a quick stir. Add your potato cubes. Not only does the vinegar and water solution help clean the potato cubes, but it also prevents them from turning brown. Give that a quick stir, and we're going to let this sit until we're ready to use it. Add your turkey wings into a strainer, and rinse your turkey wings off with cold water. We've transferred our turkey wings into a large bowl. Let's add some seasoning. Sprinkle 1 4 teaspoon of salt, 2 teaspoons of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, 2 teaspoons of Chef Paul Poudon's Poetry Magic, 2 teaspoons of onion powder, and two teaspoons of garlic powder. Using your hands, coat the seasonings onto the turkey wings. Now, let's sear the turkey wings. Preheat your fire to medium-high heat. In a cast iron skillet, add two tablespoons of salted butter. Spread the butter along the bottom of your pan. Let the butter melt. Add your turkey wings. Sear the turkey wings for three minutes on each side. Turn your fire off. Remove your turkey wings. As you can see, that's a nice golden brown. And place that onto a serving dish. Let's make the gravy base. Preheat your fire to medium-high heat. 
a large saucepan, add one third cup of canola oil. Let the oil get hot for two minutes. Add one third cup of all purpose flour. Using a wooden spatula, stir continuously for eight minutes or until the mixture reaches a brown color like how you see here. Add one cup of chopped yellow onion, two third cup of chopped celery, two third cup of chopped green bell pepper, and one tablespoon of chopped garlic. Stir continuously for five minutes. Add five cups of water. Give this a quick stir. Now let's add some seasoning. Sprinkle one fourth teaspoon of salt, one and one half teaspoons of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning, one and one half teaspoons of Chef Paul Perdon's Portia Magic. 2 teaspoons of onion powder, 2 teaspoons of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and 1 teaspoon dry thyme. Stir all your ingredients together. Taste your gravy base to see if it's at your desired taste. If not, you can add more seasoning. Add your turkey wings. Give that a quick stir. Just coat the turkey wings with that gravy base. Cover with lid. Let this simmer for one hour. It's been about one hour now. And our turkey wings are done. And that gravy is nice and thick too looks good. Turn your fire off. Now to tell if your turkey wings are done you should be able to insert a fork into each turkey wing easily. Now if your turkey wings aren't tender you're going to add two thirds cup of water and let it simmer for an additional 20 minutes. Pre your fire to medium high heat. Now let's make the potato salad. In a medium sized pot, add one and one half quarts of water. And to that we're going to add two teaspoons of salt. Give that a quick stir. I'm going to let this come to a simmer. Add your potato cubes into a strainer. Add your potato cubes into the simmering water. And three large eggs. Let this simmer for 12 minutes. It's been about 12 minutes now. Remove your eggs. Turn your fire off. Add your potatoes into a strainer. Let this cool completely. Crack the top portion and the bottom portion of your egg. Rinse your egg off with cold water while peeling the shell off of the egg. Chop the egg in half. Remove the egg yolks. And place the egg yolks into a small bowl. Using a spoon, smash the egg yolks. Add one fourth cup of mayonnaise, two teaspoons of mustard, one eighth teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Stir all ingredients together until combined. Here we have our egg whites, 
chop the egg whites until it is minced. Add your chopped egg whites, one fourth cup of chopped yellow onion, one fourth cup of chopped celery, and one fourth cup of sweet relish. Stir all your ingredients together until combined. Add your egg yolk mixture. Stir all your ingredients together until combined. And the potato salad is done. Now as a final garnish, I like to sprinkle a little bit of Tony Saturated Creole seasoning. And I also like to sprinkle a little fresh parsley on top. It's totally optional. Place this into your refrigerator and you can make this ahead of time. Preheat your fire to medium high heat. Now let's start on the rice. In a small pot add one and one half quarts of water and one teaspoon of salt. Give this a quick stir. Let this come to a simmer. Add one cup of rice. Give that a quick stir. Let this simmer for 8 minutes. It's been about 8 minutes now and our rice is done. Turn your fire off. Add your rice into a mesh strainer. Rinse the rice with cold water. Place your strainer back on top of your pot, place a lid on top, and let this sit for 10 minutes before serving. Preheat your fire to medium high heat. In a medium sized pot, add 1 and 1 third cups of water, 1 third cup of sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, 3 tablespoons of salted butter, 1 fourth cup of chopped yellow onion, and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Stir all the ingredients together. Let this simmer for three minutes. Add eight ounces of organic frozen green peas. Stir all the ingredients together. Cover with lid. Let this come to a simmer first, then let it simmer for five minutes. It's been about five minutes now and our green peas is now done. Turn your fire off. Let this cool for five minutes before serving and our meal is complete. Here's the final presentation and there you have it. Turkey wings smothered in brown gravy, rice, green peas and potato salad. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. You can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes at www.charliecookandrews.com. You can also find me on Facebook and on Instagram under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Oh man, look at this.
This is so good. Oh man. The turkey is so tender and juicy. And then the gravy. The gravy. Well seasoned. Nice and cream. I mean, it's so good. Then you have the green peas. It has like a sweetness and a little hint of saltiness to it. And then I have that onion. Mm. And that potato salad. Potato salad is so creamy. Well seasoned. I mean, this is absolutely delicious. I could give this 10 more bangs on the table. It's that good, yo. I'm serious. I'm telling you, bro. It's really good. So, give the recipe a try. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Until next time, take care, and I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace.